Okay, so this is where we get into the spoilers. So, if you haven't tried, if, if you haven't played and beaten Fear, Fear Extraction Point, and Fear Perseus Mandate, you know, just beware, this is going to have spoilers. In the original... The, the way in, in the original you keep finding these phone messages and you know stuff like that I mean just real quick I, I'm not bothered at all by uh, you know swearing or anything like that but there's a point where it gets to be gratuitous I mean don't get me wrong if you watch you know Goodfellas or Scarface of course you know the the it, it adds to their character. That's how they talk. And it wouldn't make any sense for them to be going around saying gosh darn and heck and shit like that. Of course not. But, you know, the swearing in the FOMAS, in, in these games in general, is just completely over the top and just added, you know, so that, you know, the teenagers can sit there and feel cool because they're listening to language that their parents don't approve of. And stupid bullshit. But anyway, the phone messages are basically, some would say lifted from, others would say ripped off. Basically, they're, you know, from System Shock 2. And I'm sorry, but they have nowhere near the same effect. I mean, in System Shock 2, you got to care for the characters. You, you wanted to piece together the entire story. You wanted to understand the relationships they had and all that. And there are also, like, these hints of, you know... Uh oh, uh, does th that relates to this? And you know, and in in fear, it just it doesn't really. It it basically tells the story, and that's about it. But you know, they're just. It reminded me of System Shock Two, and it doesn't beat System Shock Two. I I get why you know gameplay wise. They allow you to hear everything that enemy squads are saying over their radios when they're... I mean, I, th this isn't just for this. It's also for Half-Life, you know, but... I don't know. Why can you hear them? I mean, it's not like you stole a radio and you're listening in. That would make sense, but no. And it's in, you know, uh, both... It, it's in um, the, the, the game itself and both expansion packs. I don't, you know... And, um, but, but yeah, it's so that you can hear, you know, um, if they, you know, they might, uh, say, um, you know, you might get the vague, um, calling for reinforcements kind of thing, and that, you know, lets you know, ah, oh, you know, there, there's hardly any of them, any of them left in this squad. Or you might get the really obvious one where, one of them says over the radio, he wiped out he wiped out the whole squad. Okay, yeah, hammering it home. But yeah, never made sense why they could and, and why can't they communicate with each other and say, Okay, this dude's probably become be gonna coming you away. There the next group still doesn't expect you and you can still sometimes, you know Well, you can't sneak a whole hell of a lot, but you know <clears throat> You, you can surprise them anyway. I really liked the, the twist at the, the end with, you know, that it's actually, I mean, after you found out that she was fucking like 14 or 15 when she had the, um, you know, Paxton Fettel and the Point Man, you find out that it's Harlan's own daughter. That was pretty fucking stunning right there. Um, that was an effective twist, I thought. The game doesn't really get give you that satisfying of an ending which I, can, I guess that's difficult when when it's the paranormal kind of thing you know how do you properly end because you've just been you know seeing all these apparitions along the way and then suddenly it has to end and how does I mean, it was a good um, you know Alma getting out and her clearly being alive, and then the very fucking end with her climbing up onto the the helicopter. That 
that was fucking, you know, very effective. But it doesn't really give you, like, you know, it, I mean, I don't know if it had to be, like, a boss battle, but it just doesn't have, I mean, near the end, I mean, I had been stocking up on, you know, big fucking guns and, you know, ammo and shit, and then at the very end, it just, nothing, you know, I mean, not counting the fact that it actually took away my fucking guns there at the end, it just, you know, suddenly, you just, Paxton Fettles just sitting there, you walk up to him, you shoot him, that's it, the replicas all go offline, and you just activate a machine, and then you run out, and you shoot a bunch of apparitions flying towards you, and that's it, you know, there's not really, that, that was a bit of a letdown, um, but, you know, but the very ending, it definitely, you know, had you hoping for a sequel so that, you know, you could see what, what happens next, that was, that was well done. I think that's about what I have for Fear Itself. So let's move on to Extraction Point. F first of all, what a fucking cop-out. Just, you know, okay, so it was easy to kill Paxton Fettel. Still, just, you know, two minutes into the game, uh-oh, the replicas are back online, and... It, Paxton Fettel even says it himself. He says, no, I agree, it doesn't make sense. When you have your character say that his behavior or his existence doesn't make sense, you've probably got a poor fucking script. And maybe it's just me, but I don't think that we needed to know exactly what happened, like, right after the helicopter. It just... that takes away from it. It... You know, I mean, this isn't actually, it's not canonical, neither of the, um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but neither of the expansion packs are considered canon, uh, only the, the two games themselves are, um, because the expansion packs weren't made by Monolith, um, directly, apparently, um, but that just, I don't think we needed to see what happened to the Point Man, um, after the, the helicopter, I think it's way more exciting that, you know, because it's kept to the first-person perspective the entire game, and then there at the end, it actually, you know, she's actually that fucking close to you. That's terrifying. And that really worked. And it just, we don't need to see, oh, he survived the crash, and there was just nothing, and so did the other two. Okay, it's it's cool enough that um, yeah they both get killed off. I think they both get killed off. Um, been playing all four of them so close, it's running a little bit together. So, but I think they kill off both of the people that you know were on the yeah yeah they do, and and it also you know seems to divulge the fate of um, that one dude that. Um, disappeared in the first one, but, um, I, th you know, and they had pretty effective deaths, because, and, and by then you had kind of gotten, you know, you, you did kind of like, uh, Jin Su Kwan, the, um, the medic who looks suspiciously like a sniper, and the, uh, Delta Force dude, you know, black dude, uh, so, you know, and it was pretty effective, um, especially with the, Delta Force dudes, big, you know, operatic death. That was. <clears throat> but yeah, it was. It was just. It's so clear throughout expan expansion pack extraction point that it's just there to to milk it. You know, to get a little bit more cash out of you know the. Us consumers before they um, before the uh, the actual sequel comes out and it interestingly enough I didn't actually get bored uh, with it but probably because it's so short it was still 
basically the same.